Welcome everyone to the start of the 2014 Chelmsford High School football season on a sweltering day at Doucette Field in Tewksbury, Massachusetts. I'm very happy to be joined once again by my broadcast partners, Howie Neal and Rob Russo. My name is Bruce Byam, and this is uh, a Merrimack Valley large school, small school football game, which promises to be a very entertaining contest. Tewksbury coming off a 13-0 season, Division Three champions, the state of Massachusetts, have a a lot of returning weapons. How we uh, start with Jim Sullivan. Jim Sullivan is probably the best running back, I think, in Eastern Mass. He is a real tough runner. One man isn't going to be able to take him down. He's going to carry one man easily. So it's going to take two or three and a lot of gang tackling. We well, hope to wear him out. You know, it's this hot day. Maybe the heat will help. And Rob, the Lions have a lot of question marks. They uh, they don't have a, a, a mocky tailback as they've had for eons. They really rely on Jack Camp Smith to get the job done. What are your thoughts for the Chelmsford Lions? Well, I think we're going to be tested early offensively. Uh, having Jack Camp Smith as a weapon is a great weapon to have. Uh, and I think what we have behind him is some quietly very talented kids that are going to surprise a lot of people. So I think that's what you have to look for at Chumpshit's offense. Some new kids coming along and just surprising some people. Defensively, the Lions uh, have a lot of new people, a lot of holes were left to fill, but they have a lot of seniors on that defensive front with a lot of game experience. Yeah, I think that's the big thing is game experience for the seniors. And Hopefully today they can step up. The first game of the year, you never know, though, especially in this heat. It's going to be a tough one for them. Uh, I think uh, hydrating is one of the keys today. Keep a lot of liquids. Right. Keep uh, keep as much as you can. And, uh, Rob, the uh, Lions uh, are a little bit thin on defense uh, as we start this particular season. And the kicking game is a question. Yeah, during the preseason, the scrimmages and the, and the practices, um, the kids on defense that have been there have been there for a long time and they've showed some great improvement from the years before. And then when we go to our special teams uh, for the first time, we really haven't had a marquee <coughs> kicker like we had um, with, uh, with Charlie, with Charlie Kalenda, right. who's now at Stonehill playing football. Right. Um, so special teams are important, so that might be a question mark. Defensively, they've been gelling pretty well during these scrimmages. Hopefully the older kids that are on there will help the younger kids with their first, you know, their first start. They have a very fine three-year linebacker in Michael Russo, who Rob knows very well. Uh, they also have an outstanding quarterback, as we said, in Jack Cansmith. He was responsible, folks, for 27 of the Lions' 47 touchdowns last season. He amassed uh, 1,400 yards in passing and close to 1,000 yards in rushing, and a uh, big, big burden falls on a very fine athlete in Jack Cansmith. As we always do, we have to... Uh, Say who's going to win this game. <laughs> you know, the first one's always tough because you haven't seen much of either team, but I'm going with the Lions, going with the heart, and I'm saying 24-21. And, Rob, well, your turn. Uh, <laughs> like I just said, our special teams are maybe a little bit questionable, so I'm going to go with the uh, two extra points every time we score, and I think we'll score three times, so I'm going 24 Chumstrad, and I think the defense will be tested with Tewksbury's uh, wing T offense, let, let up 14, 24-14 Chumstrad. I hope you're both right. I'm going to stay with the Lions as well. I don't think the Lions are going to get all three two-point conversions. Hope they score three times. I'm going to say 20-14, uh, to 14, Chumpsford. Let's hope we're all three right. We start the season in a big way, and we look forward to the kickoff coming right up. Thanks to Craig for our camera work, and we'll be with you with the kickoff in just a few moments. Excuse me, math teachers. Got the results of the recent math assessment. Did really well. Really well. Really proud of you guys. Did have a question, though. Noticed some issues with right triangles. Wondering if you can uh, put your heads together and maybe come up with some new ways of teaching things about trigonometry. All right. All right, so we work on trig functions. What can we do? Yeah, right. 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 So. so good. It's Williams.
back on the track once again Here the mixture trig is a topic you understand Right triangles are the key to the task at hand Here are my friends to help you comprehend Sun is opposite over hypotenuse It's a ratio of the sides Cosine's adjacent over hypotenuse It's a ratio Sokotoa style. So, 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 style. So, 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 Sokotoa style. So, 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 style. So, 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 Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who do something, the people who take action, are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now.
Welcome everybody once again to Chuck Spring Doucette Stadium where the Chelmsford Lions are ready to do battle with the Redmen of Tewksbury High School. Tewksbury is yet to come out on the field. The Lion captains you can see on the sidelines. Let's go through the uh, captains uh, of the Lions real quick. Mike Russo, Jack Campsmith, number nine, Alex Palermo, 13 is Nick Philippon, 24, Jackie Gillette, 59 is Owen McNamara, and 79 is Jack Hansbury. Bruce Byam, Howie Neal, Rob Russo, and Rana Berman from Tewksbury on a sweltering hot day. Tewksbury is coming out onto the field now. Tewksbury 13 and zero last year, division three state champions beating Plymouth South in the uh, final game at Gillette. They were also 27 right. to six victors over the Lions last year and Howie, the Lions have their hands full. Uh, they will, they'll have their hands full but uh, with the, you know, Sullivan is the, the main thing but if they, concentrate too much on Sullivan, someone else may come slip through the cracks. And, the unknown and for Tewksbury, I think, Rob, is their, their quarterback situation. I'm not sure that uh, they, they, he saw much action with the coach's son there last year. Yeah, that's always a case. Um, however, I think Tewksbury is a, probably a more run-centered uh, right. uh, football team and a uh, fairly good athlete, which I'm sure their, their quarterback mm -hmm. is and uh, handing off the ball to Sullivan, and you have play action pass off of those type of plays, it's gonna be difficult to defend. Right. The Tewksbury captains are number three, Jimmy Sullivan, number seven, Ryan Bednarik, number nine, Tom Casey, and number 72, Ethan Ioli. Yeah, Tom Casey, number nine, is the other running back who you don't hear much about, but uh, I think he can, uh, he can be a factor, so we need to uh, have all eyes on deck and keep an eye on both Sullivan and Casey. The Lions trailed uh, in this football game last year at halftime, but uh, the game was very, very close. Uh, only by a score of uh, 12 to six did they trail. And in fact, going into the fourth quarter, they trailed 12 to six. So Lions did not really get blown out last year. I think that's what, uh, you know, Chumps should has to do. I think they have to win the toss today and get, get on the, ball, the board for first, have the offense go out there, let the defense go out second. And I think, as you said, uh, Rob, I think the Lions have uh, won the toss. I didn't see which, let's see, they're yep. going to get the football. Get so the they uh, did what you uh, thought they might do. So they will go on offense first. And the Lions will be led on offense by, uh, let's see if we can go uh, from tackle to tackle. 77 is Joey Rosano, 76, Matt Dimitrioff, uh, number 59, Owen McNamara. Number 53, Jake Giampa. Number 79, Jake Hansbury. And number 99, Nate Spinelli, the tight end. Flankers, uh, 13, Nick Philippon. Matt Cottermash, number five. And of course, Camp Smith, the quarterback. Shane Conti and Tyrone Fett, supposed to be the running backs. We're gonna pause now. The Tewksbury uh, band is here to perform the national anthem. Please rise, my national anthem. just about taken care of. The Lions will receive it, and we'll get the uh, Lion deep backs in just a moment. Kicking for Tewksbury will be Mitchell Miskell, who is an excellent kicker. Thanks. 
There's head coach Bruce Rich on the sideline. Jack Campsmith, number eight, the quarterback. Nate Spinelli, number 99, talking to his receiving team. Nice run back here would be very, very helpful. Well, it looks like uh, Tuxby took the win. Yes. Uh, so that the, the Lions can expect a deep kick. Misko is, is shown to be kicking, kicks the ball pretty well, right? Mitchell, Mitchell Misko. Philippon is uh, number 13 to the near side, and that looks like uh, number 11, and that's Joey Levesque. On the far side, Mitchell has it teed up at the 40-yard uh, line. And Meskel is a senior kicker. Was an excellent kicker for Tewksbury last year. The 2014 season is seconds away. And Miskell kicks it deep to Philippon at about the five yard line. Starts it up the right, cuts it back through the middle and takes it to the 20 where the Lions will start at first and 10 at the 20 yard line. Taken down by number 20 of Tuxbury and that's Ryan Carey, the tackler. Nice return by Philippon. Yes, it was. 21 yard line. Took it back about 17 yards. Field is not in good shape. All of us walked it uh, pre-game and uh, it's unlike a Tewksbury grass field. Howard. Right, and it's it's also cut very high. I yes, think, uh, slow surprised. field, I would slow call field. it. Slow field, right. And maybe that's what they want. Uh -huh. uh, they might uh, like that. Camp Smith, the quarterback, number eight. Tyrone, let's see who they running. Conti is the up back. And yeah. Looks like Ben, ben Sauter, Sauter is the deep back. Sauter has the football, comes across to the, about the 25 yard line, pick up of three on the first carry of the season. Lions running straight ahead. Tackled by Sullivan of Tewksbury. Not surprising there, Howie. No, not surprising at all. They get the uh, butterflies out of everybody's system. Everybody wants to get a little contact and get in the groove. Here comes Philippon and number five, Cordemash into the game. Those are the Lions' uh, wideouts. They predominantly will be the ones that uh, Jack will be looking for. Camp Smith looks over the defense, rolls out. He's looking deep and he's taken down. And he's dumped at the 15 yard line. By Casey. That was Casey that came through and took, made the tackle. So he came back, came from his linebacker spot. And now the Lions are faced with a third and 15 back at the, about the 16 yard line. A yeah. little bit uh, maybe too long for that play to develop for Jack uh, to hold on to that football. Yeah. The, uh, they didn't pick up the blitz. Casey came in with an inside blitz over the center. Lions have a predominantly senior offensive line. Jack looks, rolls left. Looks, got a man deep, and he can't find anybody, and he's taken down again at the five-yard line. All right. Great pursuit there. Number 20 again, and number 20. Yeah. Number 20, number 40. Yeah, number 40 for Tewksbury is Andy Nguyen. Tewksbury back deep now. Ryan Carey, and number 22. Troy Carey, they, I'm, sh I'm sure they must be uh, brothers. And they're only standing at the 38 yard line. Camp Smith to boot it, or is that Driscoll? It's uh, Camp Smith punting. No, that's uh, Camp Smith. And it takes a good roll for the Lions. And yep. that's gonna be blown dead. Tewksbury field position is going to be the 38 yard line where they will start first and 10. And right away, the field has been flipped on the Lions uh, to start this game. Yeah. Two negative plays in that sequence. The Lions start Joey Rosano, Jack Hansbury, Chris Hillman, and Kevin Harrison across the front. The linebackers, uh, Piccarillo, Russo, and uh, their safeties, Palermo, Gillette, Everly, Philippon, and Fletcher. High snap, and coming around to the right, and the Lions well defending that. Right. 
Ball carries number 21, Jimmy Hurdle. Hurdle, the ball carrier, and I think uh, for the Lions coming across the field that time, who was that tackler? Did we get it? Mike Russo. Thank you. you I thought you might. I thought you <laughs> might know that. See, I led you into that. <laughs> yeah, I know you did. <laughs> typical, yeah. typical Tewksbury, uh, yeah. buck sweep, pull, pull both guards. Yep. You know, try to get the corner. Second uh, and about 11 yards to go for Tewksbury from the 39. Sullivan, the deep back. Sullivan has the football, bounces outside, and he's defended fairly well there by the Lions. Nice job, good gang tackle in there. Mike Russo in on the tackle. I Russo think again. Number seven, and I think that was uh, yeah, Emily. Emily. So that's a gain of maybe a yard. It's third and 10 now. So far, we've had uh, excellent defense played on both sides of the football. Brett Morris is their quarterback, standing in the pistol. Oh, it's a high snap, and the Lions are after him, and boy, the Lions uh, got out of that field position. The Lions, number 22, Kevin Harrison chasing. So, Howie, I would say uh, pretty even start. <laughs> pretty even start, yeah, lots of mistakes on both sides. Right. Miscues of, of all types. The Tewksbury punter is Ryan Bednarik. Yep. Back deep for the Lions. Number 11. That's, uh, uh, once Lebec. again, Joey Lebec. Joey Lebec. He's going to kick it from about the 35. Nice high kick. Lebec feels it at the 20. Oh, nice. And he picks nice up move, about Joe. 8, 9, 10 yards. Yep. Nice job. And fights for yardage across the 30-yard line. So a nice return by the junior. Joe Levec and When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen. But the people who take action are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Call this free government program for the option that's right for you. Back. Short break. The Lions are back on offense. They come out with the same uh, complement, except they spread the field this time with Campson standing. Probably is going to run it himself. Oh, he fumbles the snap. Fights off a uh, <laughs> Jack showing maybe a little bit of nerves here. Uh, juggle the snap. It was a designed run anyway. No gain on the place. Second and ten. That's what Chumsha calls quarterback ISO. We'll see that a lot this year. Cam Smith is an excellent runner, uh, and he, he should have some good blocking as he runs that play. Tyrone Fett comes into the football game, number 20, along with Nick Philippon. Right. Lions with 99 players on their roster. Their numbers are up a little bit this year. Looking at three freshmen. Uh, on this roster as well. Fake to uh, Fett. Nice it throw. looks like an up and out, and that's Philippon, and he just tripped on a, what is, again, a terrible field. All right. On a turf field, I think that makes the connection. Yep. Yep. This, this field was at once the most premier uh, high school football field. It had a perfect crown. Grass was like a fairway, yeah. and as you as you know, we walked it, and you know it's downhill there, it's uphill somewhere yeah. else, yeah. potholes. Absolutely right, Rob. This right. is uh, really not a testament to the uh, the two teams that are here today at all. Oh. Fett, the tailback, Conti, the upback. Philippon made a nice move. And he was did open. make a nice move. Had him beaten. Yep. Going back. back to him again, has it for style. Completed right. to the 43 yard line. Yep, much better. Nice combination, great timing, nice throw. First and 10 jumps with the first first down of the uh, football season. Five minutes, 33 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Philippon ran a route, a route there that was, uh, he was under much better control. Yep. He wasn't trying to race by the defender. Very controlled. Jack made a nice throw on the money. Camp Smith looks over the defense. Looks to throw it quickly, and it's incomplete. Almost picked off. Yeah. 
I didn't see whose hands that. Uh, 58. 58. Almost. He almost. Uh, yeah, Alex Scheinfrott. Second down. Yeah. Easy for you to say. Yeah, he tipped it and almost made a diving interception. Yes, he did. Second and 10 for the Lions. They're at the 43 yard line, their own 43. Second possession of the uh, game. This is going to be a uh, test of endurance with this heat today, folks. I think even the announcers are going to lose <laughs> weight just standing here. I think so. Rob is disappearing in front of me. Camp Smith, the throw at screen, has a uh, man that's fat, and he can't oh, nice get outside, play. though. Lost, tackle Completion, for lost by but, uh, uh, seven. The seven, uh, Ryan Bignarek on the tackle. Nice middle screen, set up nicely. Yep. Uh, Tewksbury, uh, they read, read it, it well. I think uh, Tyrone had a little trouble getting out. He probably should have followed his blockers straight ahead. Yeah, I think you're right. It did look like he had some uh, white shirts in front of him. Lions now are faced with a third and 11. Are at the 41-yard line. Nice close up there, nice crystal clear picture of Jack Camp Smith, the senior quarterback. Yep. Jack, if you weren't with us in pregame, was responsible for 27 of the Lions' 47 touchdowns last season, either passing or running. He's gonna pass it again. Gets a block, He's got throwing a it deep. He's got Philippon, and it's just tipped Wait, away, and Philippon had him beaten. Jimmy Hurdle again. Boy, they just recovered. I think the ball hung just a split second. Yep. Well, oh, that would nice, have been six. Hurdle did a nice job of uh, waiting to the last second, yep. and flicking his hand in there to break it up. Kind of a new wrinkle to our ISO pass. Now we have more of a deep crossing pattern. Kind of gives some time for Philippon, who's actually a very speedy kid to get out there. And uh, like you said, hung up just a little too much. Yep. Del Driscoll is standing on the 27 yard line. Uh, this is Jack. Two Carey brothers, low snap. Driscoll recovers, kind of shanks it, need a bounce. Nice Gets play. a little bit of a bounce yep. to Camp the 38-yard line. Camp Smith was Camp the Smith punter. Camp Smith the punter, yep. yep. That was Jack Camp Smith, pardon me. He had great, showed good hands there, for sure. Didn't panic, picked the ball up and booted it. Yep. So Tewksbury will have their second opportunity, and I would expect in this offensive series to see a little more of Mr. Sullivan. Morris, the uh, quarterback for Tewksbury. He has Sullivan and Casey uh, flanking on each side. And we got a whistle. I think it's movement. Quick start. Yep. So Tewksbury's going to be penalized five yards. And guys, I think we are seeing some of the uh, first game uh, mistakes so far. And I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the heat is just affecting their concentration as well. And they're not, oh, they're waving it off. I don't understand why the wave off. I think there was a timeout before. Oh, Tuxby took a timeout. Uh -huh. All right. So that's their first timeout. I see the referee marking it off in his little card. So that was a timeout probably right before uh, they ran out of time. All right, here we go. First and 10, Tuxby. They come out in a uh, different formation. Morris is under center this time. Turns and hands it off straight ahead. Casey. And this is Casey exploding for about eight yards. Just straight ahead running. Power from Tewksbury. Second and two from the 43 yard line. Evan Fletcher on the tackle for the Lions. Now they put uh, Morris in the pistol. Oh my God, quick pitch. It's a sweep. This is Sullivan. Toss. And the Lions diagnosed it. Nice play. Excellent nice job. Play. Russo right there to uh, make that stop. Russo, Everly. Loss of a yard. It's going to be third and three. Tuxbury coming. No huddle now. Coming fast. Trying to uh, get the Lions defense on their uh, heels just a little bit. And 
handoff straight ahead and first down yardage for Sullivan to the 50. So it took three yards, first first down of the football game. When the chips are down, they're going to go to uh, Sullivan, just go. like the Lions will go to Camp Smith. <laughs> yes, yes. Three minutes to play, opening quarter of the football game. And this is Casey. Casey picks up five to the 45. Yeah. I'll give him four on that, five yards on that carry. Second and uh, long five for Tuxbury. Tuxbury's yet to put the ball in the air, and I don't expect that they will very much. Well, I, uh, they just took Sullivan out, so uh, the, this you'll could see, be a play action pass. Yeah, you'll see a waggle type yep. uh, uh, pass. Yep. This would be a down to do it on, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Gary Hurdles in the backfield, 21, yep. I believe. And yep. on the center is Morris. <laughs> Oh, that looked like a false start. Inside reverse, and the Lions are right there. Yep. Not fooling anybody. Yep. Mr. Hansbury stepped up and just applied yep. the tackle. 6'3", 285, and he just was not fooled. It's third and about eight now for Tuxbury. I want to give a shout out to the uh, shout out to the Hansbury family down in uh, Florida, they watching Jack here, and they're going to the Patriots game tomorrow. Proud of that play. <laughs> yeah, and also the Camp Smith grandparents down in Winter Haven. All right, here we go with third and long now for Tuxbury. And it's an empty backfield. Morris. And he throws it out on a screen, and the Lions are there, and the defense nice steps coverage. up again, and it's going to be fourth down. Number 26 on the tackle. The Lions sniffed it out. Ben Nolan sniffed it out very well. Hats off to Ben. That was a nice job by Ben on that play. Not Fletcher, wasn't it 26? Is it 20? It is 26. Yeah, that's Evan Fletcher. Oh, okay. Evan a junior, 5'10", 170. Oh, sorry, Ben. 27 is Ben. Joey Levesque back deep to return the punt of Tom Sullivan. Tuxbury, watch the fake here now. Uh, number seven is the uh, kicker. Uh, it's, yeah, it's seven. And okay. Bednarik hangs one high. And away from it, get away from it. Okay. Yeah, nice job. <laughs> yeah, good play. They're gonna start it at the 15, I believe. Lost it in the sun. Thought for a moment it was going to come down, hit him on the head. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> did a good job. Bruce Byam, Howie Neal, Rob Russo, Rana Berman from Doucette Field in Tuxbury. Opening of the season for both teams. Most teams opened last night. Tuxbury has no lights, so it would have been tough to play. All right, the Lions right. need to put together a drive with uh, only 36, 36 seconds left in this quarter. Yeah. I know one thing, a night game would have been a lot cooler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> and what's the whistle for? Chumpshut takes Lions. a 20 second timeout. Chumpshut has taken a timeout. Yeah. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. No, can't hear you. We can't, we can't, can't hear, hear Tom. Can't hear Tom. Can't hear anybody. No, I can hear them. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. The Lions have just run their first down play, and it was Camp Smith on a keeper. He picked up only about two yards, but he was hit late out of bounds, and the Lions now are going to get a 15-yard break on this, and that will probably be the last play of the first quarter, very possibly. So that's going to move it out, Rob, to about the 25-yard uh, yard line. And this game in this first quarter is shaping up to a game of who makes the least amount of mistakes yep. and who can stay hydrated the longest. That's yep. right. Yep. Absolutely. 
26 yard line, first and 10, Chelmsford. Yeah, it's on the 26. Lions have Conti beside Camp Smith and Sauter in the backfield as well. Jack just tried to use a hard count timeout. All right, tried to draw him off. Didn't work. So they're going to have first and 10. The Lions have taken their second timeout. Defensive coaches Sal Lapoli and uh, Tommy uh, Souza have to be happy with the, the first two series. Absolutely, the Lions have been backed up on their own end of the field yeah. for the entire quarter, and they've done a nice job of uh, corralling Casey and uh, Sullivan. A couple of breaks here and there, but uh, overall it's been a good, solid performance by the defense. I think you're going to see that flanker screen to uh, Philippon uh, very shortly. <laughs> Defense has always seemed to be a little bit ahead of the ahead, offense yes. early going. But what I like is the Lions are in the right places defensively. Yep. Jack starts left, comes back to the, to the right, and Jack's in space. And we got a flag. So this is coming back, That's folks. going to be holding. I think it's coming back. Yep. It's going to be holding probably. Right. Holding. So the biggest gain of the uh, football game right now, if Jack had gone about uh, 25 yards, and it's coming back. The thing about Jack running, too, is he's very deceiving. He doesn't look like a fast runner, but he has extremely quick feet, and he has a stride. He has and a long people, stride. People don't get how fast he really yep. is. Yep. Howie, Jack's a true throwback to uh, the days when uh, you were an athlete. <laughs> uh, he, he plays all three sports, and he plays them with excellence. He does. He plays, uh, he plays baseball, baseball, probably his best game. Baseball, I believe, is his best best sport. And he, uh, I know he's done a couple of uh, baseball showcases over the summer. Went down to New Jersey one time. So uh, I think that's what he's leaning towards. But he, he does a nice job on the football field. He's a good leader out there. The, the players look up to him. They expect him to uh, take them and, and move the ball. It's a uh, scoreless first quarter here at Set Stadium. When the Lions come back, they'll be faced with a first and 20. Uh, they, as Howie said, they've been in their own end of the field, but uh, they have done some good things, both offensively and particularly defensively. Yep, yep, absolutely. So a pretty rapid first quarter. We're gonna go to break. We'll be right back. The Lions' first down play was a uh, short pass to uh, Nick Philippon, which fell incomplete, so it's going to be second and 20 now. 
it would be uh, really, it, it's, it's hard to pick up 20 yards in two plays, but if they could get a few so that when they were punting, they, yeah. they could get a little bit of a break in field position. This has been a horrendous start for the Lions as far as field position. Just underway, second quarter. Howie Neal, Rob Russo, yours truly, Bruce Byron, and Ronna Berman. Camp Smith again to throw it. He's looking deep. He's flushed out of the pocket. He needs to throw it out of bounds, and he does. So it's going to be third and 20. Yep. Jack is looking uh, primarily for Philippon, and he was double covered. Yeah, he was trying to get him deep, but they kind yep. of double covered him. It's right. No question. Generally speaking, Chumshit does have a, a you know a dash play where Jack has the option to get some width and, and maybe run, but that wasn't a predetermined dash. That no. was the ISO pass, and as you guys said, Tuxbury ended up double covering. Tuxbury, if you notice, their defense is uptight. They're uptight, challenging Chumshit to pass. Yep. They have uh, about seven, eight guys within three yards of the line of scrimmage. Back to throw. Up and out, and it's caught. Uh, close to the first down, but about four yards short. That was Kortomash. Kortomash, nice catch. So the Lions did pick up a big play. Yeah. That's a gain of about 17 yards, but it's going to be fourth down. Yeah. And Jack. All right, the first time this year, <laughs> are the Lions going to uh, fake it? All right, and uh, Jack uh, What's threaded your it in with double coverage there, too. So he did. He threw a, a bullet yeah. right in there. Excellent throw. The one thing about Jack, having Jack be the punter, is that uh, <laughs> Jack's also the passer. Right, right. And the runner. So you can see already how much uh, Camp Smith means to this Lions offense. The carries are back deep at the 35-yard line. Lions trying to draw them offside. Good snap. And hey, Jack good hangs a pretty good punt up there. And this is Carey getting a block, got a good block, ah. and a nice tackle. 56 on the tackle, Chris Hillman. Chris Hillman, a nose uh, guard, and Chris made a good play. Maybe a uh, touchdown saving tackle there. Yeah. Looks we set that up pretty well. So it's going to be, again, Tuxbury, uh excellent field position, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. So far, the Lions have held them to one first down in two possessions. Sullivan and Casey. Sullivan, the tailback, deep in the eye. They run it outside, and he's met just about the line of scrimmage. Excellent tackle there. 27, is that 22? 22. And that's uh, Kevin Harrison. Kevin, from his defensive end position, held them to a gain of two. It's going to be second and eight. That was their power play. They doubled yep. down on the tackle and tried to kick Harrison out, but he was able to shed the block. Tuxbury has yet to uh, throw it, but uh, I think they're just trying to lull the Lions into a false sense of security here. Okay, they're unbalanced right now. Oh, that was slow to develop. Yep. And up again, the Lions. Good I, think play. The, I think the field hurt uh, Morris on that play as well. Yep. Jack Hansbury in there in the tackle, along with uh, uh, seven, yeah, Jack Hansbury was one of the 58, 56, I think it was. Yeah, that's was Kilman. It, was it Hillman? Yep. Yep, Chris. You know what? It wasn't. It was 44. Piccarillo, a linebacker. Nice job by him. Third down and a long eight yards. Flag, flag flies, and another flag flies, oh. and a pass gets tossed. And this, uh, I think, I think one of them is on Tuxbury for holding. Two, three. We got we got three looks. Chris Hillman kind of jogging off the field here with a little bit of an ankle. Uh, looks like an ankle injury. I think the Lions will refuse it, and I think they'll get the football. Right, guys? Two fouls on 
We were offsides and they were holding. Okay, so it's offset. Down. We're going to run it again. That was an example of the waggle pass. They'll do that with third down. Yep. It's a yep. play action pass. It's one of the best wing T play action it is. passes like in the world. Absolutely. It, uh, you can run it on any down. It's so it's so hard to defend. So we did see Tuxbury uh, finally uh, attempt to put it up. And the Lions are going to uh, give them another third down here by just being uh, offside. Okay, uh, Sullivan's in the slot on the far side. And he's deep, and he is taken down by, no. oh, Russo had him, and he it. And, oh. oh, that's ground, yeah, that's ground down. down. He called and it, it right is, down. the referee called that down. Yeah. Michael Russo just blowing through. He's having a dynamite football game so far. They were looking for Sullivan deep, but uh, yeah. he, he had nowhere to throw it. Right, they had the uh, little crossing pattern. Sullivan went behind the receiver and uh, went up the sideline. That's a loss of uh, approximately 18 yards. Bednarek to punt it. Good snap to Bednarek. Good kick by Bednarek. This one hangs it's not up. Returnable. Get away from it. And the Lions are going to get their best field best position field at the position. 45. Right, right into the wind as soon as he kicked it. Right. You know, there is kind of a right. a breeze. I think it's coming from Africa. It's so hot, <laughs> but it's a breeze nonetheless. Looked yep. like one of my wedge shots falling <laughs> out of the sky. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Like I said earlier, I think um, you know if the, the fewer mistakes, right. uh, and if you can keep the heat away from affecting your kids, you, you're going to win this game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, the Lions uh, uh, bring in Dell Driscoll at tight end. Dell has been nursing shoulder problems all preseason, and was a real question mark as to whether he would play today. Dell is a uh, really large, tall, six-five young man. And they fake it. Oh. They're looking to throw it. Jack, Jack keeps got a it. soft corner. Oh, don't and stop. And does a nice Jack. job. Gets it to the 48-yard yep. line. Picks yep. up about uh, five. And I'll tell you, there was an excellent block by uh, Ponty. Second down. 37. Shane. Yep. Conti. Shane, Shane threw a number of them he last year, and it's nice to see him pick it up again this year. Second and five for the Lions. Excellent block. We are just under eight minutes to play in the uh, second quarter. Lions have shown no hesitation to uh, open the game up. They have a, uh, an eye backfield now with Conti and Sauter, I believe. Cam Smith keeps it, fights ahead. Boy, is Jack uh, gonna be a tired young man tonight. Picks up uh, about three. It's gonna be third and about two. Uh, long yard here for the Lions. Right. Uh, Turksby's given Sullivan a blow here. He's not in on defense in this series so far. I think that's smart to, uh, the coaches probably have to rotate their players a yep. little bit to keep them fresh. Yeah, I noticed Coach uh, Sal Lapoli's doing that with his front. Lions have a full house backfield. Camp Smith drives ahead. He's, He's got close, it. and I think he has it. Yep, they're going to give him the first down. Had Mike Russo in there at uh, one of the blocking backs, and they did pick up the first down. It's the second first down of the half. Yes. Mike comes out, replaced by Tyrone Fett, Craig Sean, number four. Lions offensive line is uh, holding up, I think, very well and accounting uh, very well of themselves. Yes. Yeah, they have. Uh, They've got some uh, smart people up front that are uh, working well together. Yes, they are. You know? Tyrone Fett, the speedster, is in the eye. And the timeout Lions. That's their third, I believe, of the uh, first half. We're missing. Thank you. Rana says three, so she's never wrong, which she reminds me of quite frequently. Six. No, the camera. I think they only had ten. Wasn't the right formation, I think. That's why yeah. they took the timeout. Yeah. I think I would love to see the Lions uh, 
have one of their tail bracks uh, get into space a little bit to make Tuxbury more cognizant of the, uh, uh, the run. run. Yeah, yep. I, I think we'll make it easier for ourselves if we do yep. that. Tuxbury, like you said, they're, they're within three yards on the right. line of scrimmage, and they're all in the box, as we call it. And I think, you know, Tuxbury this year, uh, it, their offense seems a little less confident than it was last year, and I think we need to capitalize when we have the ball. So. They had a uh, yeah. uh, three-year starter at quarterback in the coach's son yeah. uh, who really had confidence and a very accomplished right. football player last year. And they had a, he had a good supporting cast of – Yeah, uh, excellent supporting of, cast. You know, Sullivan was uh, very right. good, but they had some other seniors that were, were just were as fine supportive. players, particularly yeah. in the offensive line too, yeah. I think. Yeah. The Kevin. one thing Tuxbury always, always brings, though, is well-disciplined. Well yeah. You know, teams yep. with uh, strong, right. fast kids. All right, the Lions now with a first and 10 at the Tuxbury 45-yard line. They are in the uh, stack eye again. Waggle pass, and that's Russo. Russo Boy, Mike's the... doing it all. His first catch of his career. Russo all on right, the... Michael. I thought, it, I thought he had his father's hands all this yeah. time. <laughs> I think he gets those from his mother. mother. Well, he gets <laughs> just about every athletic uh, attribute from his mother. But his father had good hands. He just was too fat to run fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pickup down yeah. to the 33-yard line. Yeah, nice little power pass out of the stack eye. All right, first and 10. And again, the Lions show the same formation. Okay. Sada, Russo, and Conti. Sada with a hole. Ball. Ball's Fumble on it. the ground. And Tuxbury may have come up with this, folks. And they do. Boy, that's a big turnover right there. They had a very fine first down yardage. Yep. And they put it on the ground for the first turnover of the season. And Tuxbury will start at the 27-yard line with six minutes and 14 seconds to go. Couldn't see who got off the pile there. No, I didn't see either. The Lions were gaining some confidence on offense. But as everyone knows who follows football, turnovers Two, are four, huge. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six. Do we two, have too many four, or too six, few? Eight. We only got ten. Is that, Hillman's, in, Hillman's injured, so uh, they're one less guy. I don't think New Hillman was injured, and he's out. Yeah. Sullivan, yeah, here comes the uh, the new player for the Lions, the, right. the 11th player. Yeah. That was a gain of three yards. So we're going to try it with 11 this time and see what happens. Sullivan was the ball carrier. Morris, the uh, quarterback. That's Sullivan behind him. Hand off on the sweep. Carry. Philippon. The tackle. Close to first down yardage. Hurdle, man. Hurdle on the Jimmy Hurdle? Yes, Hurdle, the uh, ball carrier. Yep. Excellent. It's going to be third and about. Third and a yard. Half a yard, yep. So the Lions defense uh, will be tested here, see if they can stop them. We're going to uh, bring the chains across the field and see if uh, they did pick it up. Tuxbury head coach Brian Aylwood in his 18th season here at Tuxbury, his father before him. So it's been a real tradition of Aylwood's in Tuxbury, and they have had outstanding. Uh, coaching seasons and it looks like it's just short a yeah. couple of inches and again the uh, clock will be in motion we are at 518 as soon as they set the chains guys to put it mildly this has been a grind it has been uh Six possessions of punts and one fumble. I hope they can find some shade in the, at halftime too, because he's got to get these. Everybody got to get the kids out of the sun. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
Camp Smith and Russo uh, have had excellent football games for the Lions so far. Nice catch by Kodamash and Philippon. Uh, Lions have yet to really establish anything on the run. Tuxbury now will attempt to pick up about uh, a foot. This is their power formation. Quarterback keeps it. Nope, he turns and hands it off. Sullivan's got the first down easily. Uh, tackle by Everly. Initially. Yeah, Everly, one of the tacklers for the Lions. Uh, and uh, Piccarillo, Jackie I think. Gillette was in there as well. So it's a first down. Tuxbury now has it at the 44 yard line. The danger with putting all your guys on the line of scrimmage like that is if he breaks it, <laughs> yeah. you're chasing. And off straight ahead, and big hole. This is Sullivan again. He's starting to assert himself a little. No, that's Casey. That's Casey. That's He's starting to assert their running game here now a little bit. Second down and uh, four. Three that's, yards. Their, that's their version of the ISO with Sullivan leading the way. And they're trying to pick up the pace a little bit here on offense. They're off, offset to the left. Looks like they're going to run left. They're off, they look, almost look like they lined up offside. And nice tackle there, Hansbury, but he fights ahead and falls for the first flag. down. Got a late flag. Face mask. Seemingly, they don't have much confidence in their, their new quarterback, and uh, I actually think they're trying to wear Chumpster down anyway, so. was the waggle I think too. I think it was a waggle. He had to put a oh. deep drag behind it. Uh, almost had some power almost there. Almost had some uh, sound back here. Just yeah, almost. Whatever that was. All right, it's fourth down and ten. <laughs> Biggest play of the uh, first half. There's our monitor. We're All back right. in business, yeah. folks. And uh, saw Sullivan drag across the middle. He was wide open at, on our sideline. He's lined up in the same form, same position, the far slot. Lions blitz, and he's they're coming, they're coming, and it's wide open on the sideline, and first down at the 10-yard line. Ten. Bednarger 
So a left-handed quarterback fired it right in there that time. His first completion came at the uh, absolutely perfect time. We're gonna get the two-minute warning here. And Tuxbury is knocking at the door. That's a 15-yard pickup. 20-yard pickup. Okay, and they're lined up on balance. Yeah, on balance toward us. Here. Yeah, they were on balance the other way uh, last time, and now they're this way. And Sullivan, this is going to be a toss. Coming this way. Here they come. And didn't get there. He's at the five. Yeah, nice stop. Evely in there it's on the yeah, tackle. Evely, along with uh, I think is it 85? Michael Perez. Yes. Jared Kent comes in a six foot senior, number 51. Lions uh, coming down to 130. Tuxbury would like to uh, score, but they'd like to leave no time on the clock if they do. Okay, now they're wide, unbalanced to the far side. Far side, yep. And that's, uh, Bissett's gonna roll out. Morris hands it. Oh. Casey. Touchdown, and touchdown, cut back. A touchdown. Yep. So Tuxbury has just driven this ball about 67 yards following the Lion turnover to take the lead at six to nothing. They started on the 28, started on their own 28. 28, I'm sorry, 72 yep. yards then. Started started with a fumble. That's right. Yep. Mistake. That's, that's right. Fumble that's set what it we up. said, yep. turnover Turn started over. the whole thing. Mitchell and Miskell in to add the extra point. And he, as we said, an excellent kicker. So the defense, which did such a great job in the first half, and it's a low kick, but it's a good kick. So Miskell picks up the extra point. Tuxbury is on the board, 7-0. I still think the Lions have to be somewhat pleased with their first half with the exception of that uh, fumble. I yeah. think given the fact that they had rotten field position. Right, the um, defense has done their job. Yes, yes they have. They've been on the, on the field a lot too. Well, that, that, heat, that heat is a key thing right now. Yep. And uh, you know, momentum is huge in a football game. Tuxbury having this momentum would be uh, right. pretty good if uh, Coach Fritz gears up his two minute offense. Chumps it always runs a good two minute offense and hopefully maybe punch in some kind of points before the half. Yep. That whole drive, the key play was a fourth and 10 uh, for Tuxbury that they completed to Bednarik for the first down. Miskell is uh, set to kick it off. Philippon and Levesque back deep for the Lions. You got Philippon and Levesque back deep. Misko may kick this one uh, on the ground and kind of squib kick it. Although I don't think he probably wants to give chumps with much field much position. Better, right, there's still over a minute left. Yeah, so. exactly. He does kick it high and deep, and right. this is Philip on at about the 10. Straight up the field to the sideline and taken down out there. On about the 23. Number nine, that was Casey on the tackle. Number 22 assisting. And Troy Carey. So the Lions will once again be deep field position. About the 22. Not favoring the Lions. Not a place to take, uh, I don't think, a lot of risk here, guys. <laughs> I think uh, you really don't want to uh, give the ball back to Tuxbury here. No. No, I think uh, and Tuxbury may use their timeouts They'll use as their well. timeouts, I think. You're right. Yeah. Depending on, our, uh, on the result of this play. Jack rolls, looks for his receiver, keeps Get out it, of bounds, and gets out That's of bounds. It. Nice pick up by Jack. And the Lions, uh, with 57 seconds now, have moved the ball out to the 30-yard line. Yep, they used up seven seconds. Only seven seconds. Yep. So it's going to be second down, and maybe three or four here. Nice pick up by, uh, seven yard pick up by Camp Smith.
Conti is in the backfield. Chelmsford has two wides to the right. Jack rolls that way, fires it out, and overthrows his receiver looking for uh, Joe Levesque out there on the sideline. It's going to be third and uh, four now. So with 52 seconds, what do you do here, guys? Well, I, I think you just you just have run that dash, have yep. Jack run that dash. Right. He has to run an option, try to get out of bounds. If you have a pass that's open, you throw it. Uh, just don't throw it away. No. Right? And by that, I mean throw an interception. Right, right, right. And I think uh, Tewksbury is going to take a timeout, regardless of uh, what the Lions do on this play. Unless they pick up the first down, of course. Cam Smith rolls it, fires it, and it's incomplete. Tewksbury will get the ball back with 48 seconds to go. They were trying to set up the screen on this side of the field, but uh, they were not able to complete the pass. So the Lions uh, kicking punting team will come onto the field. At least I think they will. They haven't yet. And here they come. All right, Camp Smith will try to uh, boom one back and maybe a fumble on the... Uh, maybe a fumble on the, on the receiving end? Yes, that's what I was hoping for. I was trying to say that. Couldn't. <laughs> All right, need a good snap here. Oh, and McNamara a snapper. Uh, they're going to call Long a count. Out. Oh. Jack, high kick, not high very hand. deep. It's huh? got a great bounce, big yeah. bounce. Bounce about 15 yards, and it comes dead at the 32-yard line with 35 seconds to go. I don't think Tewksbury is going to put it up here. I think you're gonna see uh, Mr. Morris take a knee here. Hard fought uh, first half. A little yeah. few mistakes on both sides, early uh, season game. But the Lion defense, which was questionable, I thought stepped up. Well, you half a football, it's only 7-0 and uh, yep. You know, this is the same thing happened last year. I thought Chelmsford's defense right. kept us in a lot of games. Um, yep. You know, I, I think we just have to take advantage of opportunities and, and make fewer mistakes. Yeah, I think the, uh, the offense is still trying to find the right keys, the right combination. Besides Jack, there's got to be some other contributors. It's a toss. And outside. And... They stop the clock, so he does pick up the first down. And that was uh, Sullivan, the ball carrier. 29 seconds to go. The defense uh, did not get the first down, but Tewksbury took a timeout. So it's second and two. Lion defense, I think, a little bit weary here, and they're looking uh, at that clock and saying, please tick down. One, two, three, four. This is their fifth possession on the field. And they have been uh, relatively long, long with short rest. Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go with second and two. Hurdle. Hurdle, the ball carrier, might have gotten the first down. It's close, I think he did. Piccarillo, the uh, tackler. First down and a timeout. That's their third timeout, I believe. They're going to take the full time out here. Rana says four, so I hope she's right. Hope she's <laughs> right. There's 22 seconds to go. I, I think Tuxby has to throw it if they intend to score. If they don't, they'll do what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of things they've, in the past, they've done a hook and ladder. They have some tricks up their sleeve, yeah. and they've used them. And with Bednarik and Sullivan, I wouldn't be surprised that that's in the playbook. And Chumshit's defense is absolutely dragging. Yes. They've been, yes, on, they the, they've been yeah. on that field most of the third, uh, second right. quarter. They have, they've been on there right. a long time. Right. They were on for... Uh, I don't know how many offensive plays each team has run, but uh, Tewksbury must be double four, uh, what the Lions... 11, see if we can 17, get that for you. 27. The Lions have been out there 20... Eight plays on defense, uh, roughly. Yep. In their five, in the five possessions, but they As had a, a 
They were out there for a 10 play drive that Turksbury scored on. 21 for Chelmsford runner. So they've been out there seven, seven or eight more plays yep. anyway. And I would uh, expect that Tewksbury is going to at least try one little trick here. 24-21, no. All right, I All right here we go. I got a couple of penalty plays called in there or something. Right, you know? right. Which technically don't they're count. Plays. They're but, on the field. But they're on the field. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Yeah, we've got two wides to this side. Coach Joseph Sousa's takes a timeout. Time out. Good call by Tom Souza. I think Tommy is aware of the fact that uh, they may be trying that too. Lion coaches uh, offensively, Eli Chimbaka's offensive line, uh, Mike Bernazani, Johnny King, Lenny Rapone, the receivers. Um, See if I miss Mikey Marshall, defensive back, Sal Lapoli, and Tommy Souza. Head coach Bruce Rich in his 19th season. 134 wins, 65 losses for head coach Bruce Rich. Lions own one of the longest uh, streaks of uh, winning seasons, dating all the way back to 1997, where their last losing season. It's interesting, the most points scored in this series by a Chelmsford team was 48. <laughs> and that came in 1994. I don't think we're gonna see that today. No. Tuxbury's highest point total was 36 in 91. All right, here we go. All right, Sullivan on the far side, Casey in the slot. They've got double wides, single wides. Timeout, Johnson takes another timeout. Mike's coach, uh, coach Mikey Marshall, Marshall took that, that timeout, yeah. the defensive backfield coach. That's Chelmsford's last timeout. Some confusion, I think, in our defensive backfield, so it was a good timeout by Coach yeah. Marshall. Yeah, was a coach Rich is uh, 12 wins and seven losses in this series uh, versus Tewksbury. One of the few teams that have beaten the, the Lions uh, more than uh, three or four times. And guys, I've got a question for you. Next week, uh, Tewksbury lines up with Everett. Wow. Your thoughts? Well. <laughs> they better bring their A game. <laughs> well, I, I, I definitely think their offense has been tentative to this point. I know they've put a yeah. drive on us, but the heat right. is a factor. Right. Um, their offense is going to have to gain in confidence if you're going to match Everett's up against an Everett. Everett's teeing off on, uh, on Mr. Uh, Morris, I right. think. Yeah. Everett won last night, uh, opening uh, victory. They have a transfer from Bill Ricca, Ori Cora, who scored two touchdowns last night in uh, uh, Everett's win. Wow. All right, we're finally, I think, going to run this play because I don't think anybody has a timeout left. <laughs> Here we go. On all that, they went straight ahead. you got to tackle them, though. And that's a big run. They'll stop the clock momentarily. They may spike the ball. The clock shows 15 seconds. They're at the 40-yard line. I think uh, Look, Tewksbury just saw what happened. Tewksbury had took a timeout, so they had one left. I thought they did, but... Okay, now we're out of timeouts both ways. <laughs> Mike Russo talking to... Uh, Tommy Sousa, the defensive coordinator, and they're ready to go now. This is uh, the hook and ladder coming now. Uh, let's see how they're, how they're set up. Reverse Morris inside handoff, oh, and the Lions are there this time. They nice have no play. timeouts. Nice play. Great job. And that was number 58. 58. Eight. Uh, 50. 50. 50. Actually, it took where had uh, one last time Evan out. Evan Lucy. Evan Lucy right there where he should have been and uh, fought through that. Tuxbury's going to let it run out. The first half is going to come nope, to an nope. end. It's nine seconds left. They had a timeout. Gee, I... Uh... Number 40 what? carried it. 40. I was wondering why they ran the ball there. 
shot to the end zone for the Redmen here. Leading 7 nothing. Evan Lucy on the tackle for the Lions, number 50. So they have nine seconds. They have to go uh, approximately 41 yards. Uh, I don't think they'd have time to, unless they got it out of bounds, to set up a field goal. That's the only uh, way I think that they could go to the sideline. Tuxbury in there, all red, white numerals. This Sal Lapoli, Bruce Fritch, and Tommy Souza. Now you get Jack Campsmith playing uh, deep safety. Not much he can't do, I guess, huh? No. He's got a shade. Uh, you got uh, Bernarek and Sullivan over here. They're looking deep. They're firing it deep. Oh, and it hits Jack in the shoulder. Well covered also by uh, number 24 of the Lions, Jackie Gillette, one of the captains. Yeah. Still and it's still left. three seconds to go. This is the longest uh, 48 <laughs> seconds I've ever seen in my life. The longest and the hottest. Yes. Yes, it is. Thunder showers in the future, folks. Let's play. <laughs> At this point, I'm looking forward to them. <laughs> Morris has his play from uh, the sideline. And the Lions are defending the goal line with uh, couple of guys uh, back at the 15 yard yeah. line. Everly and Camp Smith at the 15. And it's a screen and he's down and the half will mercifully come to an yep. end. Nice play there by Philippon. And who? Philippon. Philippon, right. Initial Russo. tackler. All right, the Lions are on the short end of a 7-6 game, but considering the fact that uh, they had very little field position, uh, Tuxbury had probably uh, six, probably ten more plays. It's okay for the Lions. Yeah. All right, we'll be back. We're going to take a break uh, at halftime. We're going to try to cool off a little bit, and we'll be back with the second half very shortly. Excuse me, math teachers. Got the results of the recent math assessment. Did really well. Really well. Really proud of you guys. Did have a question, though. Noticed some issues with right triangles. Wondering if you can uh, put your heads together and maybe come up with some new ways of teaching things about trigonometry. All right. All right, so we're going to work on trig functions. What can we do? I don't know. Yeah, right. 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 So, 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 so. Style. So, 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 so
trees are moving now. Well, the, the trees are moving pretty good. Yeah. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, Lions are ready to start, uh, kick it off to start the second half. Kevin Harrison, nice kick by Kevin. Coming up to the 15-yard uh, line is Jimmy Hurdle. Hurdle, and he takes it to the 40. Nice uh, return by Hurdle. Once again, Tuxby has field position. The kicking game is so huge, as Rob alluded to in the uh, outset. The uh, special teams play a big role in the decision of a football game. And right now, Tuxby has an advantage in the kicking game. So, no surprise, folks, the Lions will start on defense to start the second half. Hurdle uh, shaking up a little bit on that uh, return. He's on the sideline. Doesn't look serious. Unfortunately, uh, I think uh, Chris Hillman uh, torn meniscus for the Lions. Uh. Hand off straight ahead, and that's uh, Casey. Picks up about four to the 44 yard line. And one of the Lions slow to get up. That's Mike Russo and he's okay though. Mike's a warrior, he's had a great first half. Caught a pass, number of tackles. I think this is uh, really an important drive for uh, Chelmsford and for Tuxbury. This is, you're uh, absolutely right, this is a, we like to get them off the field, get yeah. the defense off the field. Right, yeah. Don't, don't let them come up with another touchdown. They've just been on the field too much. Hand off to Casey. Casey drums ahead, uh, close to first down yardage. He's gonna be short by about a half a yard. It's gonna be third and about two feet. Nick Spinelli coming into the football game. That was a fake jet sweep. They pulled both guards and they just handed it off to the back behind. Yep. Tuxbury needs to pick up uh, two plays probably to pick up the first down here. They have done nothing fancy. They have just uh, used their running game. Lions uh, just, Lions uh, gambled, almost got Sullivan. Yeah. He picked up about a half a yard. Yeah, he just bowled his way over yeah. there. You know, it was a little bit of a mismatch. He had to, uh, Alex Palermo giving away probably uh, a good 80 pounds. The Lions blitzed it from the right, and uh, Sullivan ran it back a little bit to the left, and he ran away from the blitz, which was uh, key to picking up that first down. They're at midfield, first and 10. The, the amount of sweat that's on their uniforms, it's hard to get a grip. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. Even on my uniform. <laughs> Interesting, Sullivan lined up at tight end. And we've got a flag, and this is gonna set Tuxbury back five yards for a legal procedure, and that will help. Every five yards is important. I don't know if we have any total offense for Tuxbury, uh, Rona, do we? Yeah, it, Lions have held them to 83 yards in the first half on 31 plays, and that's, uh, that's impressive. Less than three yards a play but they still trail uh, by a score of 7-0. Just underway in the uh, third quarter from Tuxbury, Howie Neal and Rob Russo, Ronna Berman and Bruce Byam, very happy to start the season once more. Morris hands it off, a sweep, and the Lions are there. Nice job, stop the no game. Harrison is one of the tacklers on the bottom, it looks like he's getting up at the bottom. Mike Russo. Russo again, boy, he's, uh, he has had a, a terrific, terrific football game. Yeah, he's reading, his, he's shedding yep. blockers, reading the play well. That's the experience from last year showing through now. He's Third and about 16, loss of a yard on that play. Good crowd here in Tuxbury on a very hot, Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Fakes the sweep and he's going to get smothered. Alliance defense right there to blast him. Harrison again, Russo again. Russo and Palermo. Uh, Palermo yeah. too? Yep. Boy, they, they were living in the backfield. They lost about eight on that play. One of the things that Coach Souza did in the offseason, uh, we thought last year we had too much defense, uh, di different formations. 
Uh, he spent the entire offseason looking at a particular defensive package, and it's really pretty much simplistic for our kids. A lot of kids going both ways. So I, I think uh, that's a key to one of the successes. Our kids don't have to think as much. They can just go. React. Just, just play football, basically, right? Third and about 20 for Tuxbury at the 40. Barris, quick toss. And Bednarik is tacking, taking down nice a job. gain of about four. Good initial, good initial stop by Josh uh, Everly. So it's uh, fourth down and long for Tuxbury. They'll be uh, forced into a punting situation. So the Lions gave up a first down, but then they uh, redialed it and did a great job. Bednarik will punt it. Levesque will be back standing at his 25-yard line. Bednarik has kicked well in the first half. Gets a low snap. It's picked up a little lower. Levesque has it and fair caught. Okay, so he, uh, Lions will start at the 27, which is uh, huge. 26, they're going to put it. Good defensive stop. We'll uh, take a little bit of a break here. All in together now. We can make it better now. Come on. Moving a little and eating better every day can help make you and your child healthier. Search We Can to find out more. Oh, we're back. Okay, that was a quick break. Um, Lions will go on offense for the first time in the second half. They will start it at their own 26-yard line. Tyrone Fett is the deep back. Shane Conti, the up back. Fett looks for a hole, cuts it back in, picks up uh, about three. Important, I think, in this drive for the Lions to show a little bit of uh, better offensive running game. Well, I, th I think uh, Chumshed needs to just control the ball now. Get, get three, get five yards, beat up Tuxbury's defense, let them be on, on their heels uh, in this weather. Yep. Fett comes out of the football game. Jack Camp Smith, the quarterback, he will take the uh, pistol snap. He has Wooster and Philippon as his wideouts. Jack may be running this, and he is. He's off tackle. He's got a good hole, falls ahead, close to first down yardage. Uh, got about two yards to go. So it's going to be third and uh, a couple here. Good first down, a good second down uh, call by the Lion coaching staff. They keep their wide out package in the football game. Craig Sean, number four, a senior, backup quarterback. He's uh, wide out to the bottom of the screen. Jack again in the pistol, comes ahead and gets it. He I think he got the first down. Yeah, no, he, uh, watching the linesman over there, he's about a okay, a two footballs short. And I don't think the Lions are going to punt this. Uh, I would call for a measurement here just to get a little extra time. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, you can't. Well, before the game, though, we uh, we were watching the chain crew. Yeah. And it's supposed to be a yeah. ten-yard chain, and the line was about six inches right. farther away than ten well, yards. The chain so is correct. But something's the, uh, wrong. The lines yeah. are off. Yep. Big play at that thirty-five-yard line. Camp Smith will probably keep this himself. And he has yes, it. He First it. down, jumps for a big call, big play. Lions convert on their first fourth down uh, play of the season. So Jack does a nice job. Begrudgingly, Tuxbury gave up yardage, but uh, Casey on the tackle. That's awful close. Yeah. It was awful close. Oh, what? Yeah. It, yeah. Extra effort, second effort by Jack. Tuxbury fought hard. Dylan McClure, number 70, uh, 47 in the football game. McClure will line up as a blocking back in the uh, stack eye. Little roll out to Conti. Yeah, it's nice. Conti. And it's set in. 
Bednarik ripped the ball out of Cotton's hands. Tyrone Fett on the tackle. That's a great wow. play by Bednarik. Very good play by Bednarik, yep. I thought Conti had the ball and Bednarik just uh, picked it off. So the Lions are really up against it now at the 22 yard line where Tuxbury will start first and 10. An emotional big, big play. I think uh, Tuxbury really sort of had that play snuffed out to tell you the truth. Yeah. He covered it well and he ripped it. I think at this time of the game, you, you just run the ball. Just yeah, have to yeah. get the three and five right, yard plays. Right. Got to be patient. Casey, the deep back. They hand it to Casey. Casey uh, takes it across the 20 to the 19. This is gut check time now for the defense. It picks up three. They do have a good field goal kicker. The Lions really need to. Uh, Dig their feet in and heels in real well here. Tuxbury looking to uh, defend their Division Three title. They will have some formidable teams though in in the Merrimack Valley this year with uh, uh, Haverhill being one of them. Casey driven back. Oh, and he stays on his feet. Oh, wow, this, uh, this determination by Casey right there. Yep. That's a first down, first and goal. And once again, the Lion defense uh, on the field when they really shouldn't. Two turnovers by the Lions are going to be uh, possibly leading to two Tuxbury scores. Yep, first and goal at the nine. Casey motion, Michael Russo on the tackle, that's and he might have been offside. they are going to call it offside. I yep. think he was offside, he was folks. In the neutral zone when yep. that ball was snapped. It's a great play, good gamble, but I think he beat it by just a half count. And it is going to be a... Uh, Half the distance uh, penalty, five yards, uh, in this case, uh, to the four yard line. Just inside the five, first and goal uh, again. So they scored their first touchdown on a Lion turnover and they're looking to add their second on a Lion turnover. Casey and Sullivan in the backfield. They're coming to the right, folks. And here they come. Casey uh, Sullivan. Sullivan stopped at the line of scrimmage. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and goal. I'll say one thing. The line, if Tuxbury scores here, it, uh, the Lions are going to really make them earn it. That's right. They are. Michael Russo on a tackle. Good job by Jared Kent. He stuffed up yep, the middle, too. Did. So no gain on a play. Second and goal at the four. Under center again is Morris. Turns Casey outside. Casey is hit and taken down at the five. So it's third and goal at the five. Everly there and Russo. We say Russo uh, almost every uh, snap. So it's going to be a third and goal at the right at the at five. The five. They've yep. run two plays, gained nothing. This is, uh, I think that was a little bit of a setup to get yeah. wide side to the left for uh, Morris. It's Some play action, uh, play or quarterback action, option. Yeah. We'll see. Waggle. I think they're going to throw it, folks. This is my uneducated guess, but I think Tuxbury puts it in the air right here. Still a little bit of confusion here on the uh, Tuxbury sideline. Morris fires it out, and it's dropped. Short, short. It's complete. Now they have a field goal, or they have a ch uh, choice to make. This has been a great goal line stand here by the Lions. Nice rush by, I don't know who was on the defensive end, but he had his hands up, and I think he obscured Morris's vision a little bit. Meskel has come on to attempt the field goal. It was Kevin Harrison. 
Kevin has had a nice job in game as well. Event, He's yes. done a real nice job. Meskel to attempt what would be a 21 yard field goal. The Lion defense was huge. And Tuxby's going to have to take a timeout. They didn't have the right personnel. Some confusion on the uh, on their PAT team or their field goal team. Right. Well, I mean, uh, you forced them to attempt the field goal from the f uh, when they had first and goal from the five. So yep. that's that's a pretty good uh, job by the defense, I would say. Here we go. We got too many guys. Now we only have. Now we got 11. Okay, <laughs> 13 minus two. We got it. Let's go. An excellent kicker. Rarely misses. And it's kicks good. it through, and that's a big field goal. They have 10 points off two turnovers. I think that's a moral victory, though, yeah. for Chumpsit's defense. Yeah. I agree. We really need something like a run back that establishes some kind of field position where we can just control. We've got plenty of time left. Well, we don't have that. That's 20, 20 seconds in the by. quarter. We'll be right back. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile. That single ember can ignite and destroy your home or even your community. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens when it does. Get Fire Adapted now at fireadapted.org. All right, we're back. Tuxbury is uh, getting set to kick off. Meskel has added his fourth point of the game, a very important 22-yard field goal. Uh, it was uh, right down the middle. And the Lions now are faced with overcoming a 10-point deficit with literally one quarter to go. This is uh, Philippon and Levesque, Levesque, I believe. Yeah, it looks like Philippon coming up on it at the 10. Straight up the field. And not much there. Don't seem to be any lanes for no. uh, Nick to run through. The Lions are going to start at the 24, and Tewksbury has not allowed the Lions to start on any kicking possession outside the 25-yard line. They have buried them in the uh, deep and make the Lions go a long way, and they're not a quick strike team. Their best field position was the 43, their own 43. Outside of that, they've been started their own 21, the 37, the 21, the 10, yeah, the 22-yard 20, uh, 20 yard, 22 yard line. That pretty much uh, says it, doesn't yep. it? Uh, yep. Tip of the cap, though, to that defense on that, on that series. Absolutely. <laughs> defense has not let them down here. It's uh, the offense that needs to get in gear. Quick toss, and it's got a flag, illegal formation. So it's going to be first and 15. Got a procedure call. How are we doing on the penalty side, Ron? Are we any idea how many we've had? So it's first and 15 for a team that is having trouble picking up first downs. And I don't recall the Lions probably picking up more than four or five first downs in this uh, football game. No, I, you're right. <laughs> the Lions will go to Westford Academy next Friday night to play a team that was beaten by Lowell 33 to six last night. Lions have uh, four first downs in this game. And penalties, four for 35, I'm sorry, and not many first downs. Nice job by Jack. Picked up four. Picked up five. It's going to be second and ten. We've ended the third quarter. Chumpson's offense is going to have to find an identity. I mean, they're going to have to be able yeah. to move the ball. There's right. nothing wrong with ball control. But they need to keep the ball in their hands, get some yardage, get some points at the end. Um, Chumpster defense is not going to be able to hold people 
for an entire, entire game scoreless. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. for an hour. Dance, walk, play a sport, or cook a healthy meal. Because just moving a little and eating better every day can help make you and your child healthier. Can we do it? Yeah, you know that we can. We'll ball it up. Cause we know how to hoop. We'll mess around. Cause we know how to play. We'll drop it down. We'll drop it down. Cause we know how to dance. We'll veg it up. Veg it Veggie up. night and day. Can we do it? Yeah, yeah, you know that we can. All in together now. We can make it better now. Search We Can to find doable tips and activities that you can use every day to keep you and your kids healthy. Uh, and we're back. Away. And unfortunately, Jack is taken down at uh, the 10-yard line. Lost about uh, 12 on the play. It's going to be third down now and uh, 20... Two yards to go for a first down. So if you don't have a 22-yard play, Tewksbury once again is going to get magnificent field position. Lions, uh, according to run of stats, have three first downs in the football game. Tewksbury only has nine, but three is just... Ah... Uh. Jack bounces off, tries to run it, gets uh, taken down. Another loss. Number 40 is the uh, tackler, and that is Andy Nguyen. Lions are forced to punt it. So another feeble uh, offensive series by the Lions. Yeah, they're just, uh, that was they're just not generating anything. No. no. Of all the offensive series that we've seen, that one could have been the worst. Yeah, yeah they just... Uh, well, they're trying to get on the board quickly. The yeah, time is against yeah. them. Right. They need two scores. Jack is going to punt it, and Tewksbury is standing. Uh, the receivers, uh, carries are standing at the 35-yard line. Good snap. And a good, good kick this good time kick. by Jack. And Cor Carey has the football, and he steps away. And a good block on the corner, and he is going to take it deep. Speed uh, really paid off. Yeah, and, uh, you know, there, was, there was no hang time on that punt. It got there so quickly that the coverage wasn't down there. We've talk, we talked earlier that the special teams and chump suit isn't you right. know, what it was in the past. We, you know, we got rid of a long-time kicker through graduation. Uh, second time we punted out our own end zone. Uh, it's, it's just not a good situation. Tuxbury will uh, start this one at the uh, nine-yard line. First and goal. Excellent punt return, picked up a couple of uh, great blocks. And once again, the defense uh, with their backs uh, squarely against the wall here. And the ball is down, and so is Morris. He lost uh, about three on the play. I think the thing that's going to hold Tewksbury back is their quarterback, and I don't mean that in a, to, to degrade no. Mr. Morris. It's just inexperience. Just an experience, yeah. Yep. Maybe he will come along as the season goes. But well, I think the way Tewksbury runs things, he will yeah. come along. But yeah. first game jitters, perhaps. Right, right. They're at the 11-yard line. Still first and goal, second and goal. Morris puts Sullivan in motion, pitches it. It's Kurt Hurdle, and we've got a. I think this is coming back. Yeah, we've got a holding. Yeah, this is good news for the Lions. So they're going to be a second and goal from about the 21 this time. Took spree penalty. Yes. 
Eight minutes, 17 seconds to play, quarter <laughs> four. Yeah. Mistakes at key situations have hurt both teams. As yeah, they have. Say. They have not, Tuxbury has not executed well at all. I think the biggest play, I'll go back to it one more time, the biggest play was the fourth down conversion. Uh, fourth and 10, and I think that was the biggest play of this football game. Second and goal from the 21. Inside handoff. Casey, big hole, big room. Takes it in, 21 oh. yards for the touchdown. And that's going to be uh, a tough battle now for the Lions to overcome. Chumps are blitzed. Yep. And, and they, just come back yep. with the inside they ran handoff. Right, right. right where the void was. Yep. Yep. It says 8 10 on the clock. Miskell on to add the extra point. So this was not flashy by Tewksbury, but I would say effective. It's always advertised, Tewksbury has two excellent running backs and a fine kicker. And he drives it through for the uh, 17th point of the football game. So with eight minutes, 10 seconds to play, the Lions are now down by three scores. Yep. They're going to go to break. Three scores. When some people struggle with their mortgage payments, they become frozen, petrified, not knowing what to do, they do nothing. But the people who do something, the people who take action, are far more likely to get the most positive outcome. Making Home Affordable is a free government program. Call now to talk one-on-one -on -one with a housing expert about the options that are right for you. Real help, real answers, right now. We are back, we being Bruce Byam, Howie Neal, Rob Russo, Ronna Berman from Tewksbury. And Tewksbury throughout the years on Saturday afternoons has been a house of horrors for the Lions. They've played some of their, probably their worst football games over here in Tewksbury. Yeah. Tuxbury uh, winners last year by a score of 27 to six. And nice, effective kick. Again, drives Levesque back. And they cover it extremely well. They're, they've got good quickness. He doesn't even get to the 20-yard line this time. Levesque returns at about uh, 12 yards to the 15-yard line. This is interesting for the Lions. They've always had offensive football teams, and this year, so far, uh, it seems to be something that they really have to work on. You, you mentioned it in the beginning of the broadcast. There isn't a name back. Right. Not that we're not talented, but it's not right. a kid that you've heard before. Right. Receivers aren't named right. like you've known before, so yep. it'll be a test year for them. Yeah, it will. The, uh, the running backs, they need to learn where the running lanes are going to be. And they have, they have no regard for any running back whatsoever. No. And they're just keying on Jack totally. No. Uh, where Jack goes, they go. And they know that uh, the, the offense comes through Jack, and that's a uh, gain of a yard. So it's going to be a second and nine. I got I, I to gotta interject. I think that the receivers, I think we just need to throw short hook type, slant type passes for Jack. We're waiting too long trying to get too much in one play. We need to just move five yard, six yard, hook, button hook, whatever, outs. Possession passes. Possession passes. Almost like lateral type passes yep. where you keep possession. Yep. 
And looking for Driscoll, and it's over his head. Dell's a big guy, but that was too high. And once again, we're going to uh, be forced into a third and long. Yep. The problem with this is you, you're caught between, all right, do I throw the ball all over the place and, you know, maybe try to get a quick score? Or do you, do you be patient and try to get some positive yards and don't give the ball back to Tuxbury so quickly? Right. Yeah, I, I totally agree that uh, maybe, uh, you know, you, you're obviously uh, – going to take your lumps in this one but uh, let's get some positive stuff out of it and, and pick it up next week right now I think they're going to be all week long they're going to question uh, who they are Camp Smith steps up flushed out of the pocket he's tagging and he gets away but not far enough it's going to be Third and long, and once again, we're going to be punting from inside the 20-yard line. I, I think the best offense that Tuxbury has is play defense. They, <laughs> they, they move the ball better on defense yeah. than they do on yeah. offense. They cause, they set up the two, two yeah. scores. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Special teams set up yeah. the third one. Special teams the third one. Their kicking game has been dominant here. It's fourth and 15 from the 15. Jack kicks it. Again, it's a good kick, but it's uh, high. I mean, not high. Picked up by Carey. Dances away. We've got our flag. And he's going to, uh, the play is going to get negated. And back, Tuxbury will go 10 yards. I am impressed with Troy Carey uh, in this game. I thought he's had a pretty good football he's game, too. He's had a nice defensive game. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he has. Yep. I don't, we don't have the uh, things on a Tuxbury uh, roster to tell us what year they are. I, I'm sorry, I do have it. He's a junior. Five, says 5'7", five, but he looks a little bigger than that. But he is a junior. We uh, are... About six minutes left in this football game. Tuxbury will start it at the 49. And to their credit, uh, Mr. Morris has managed the game and not turned it over. Casey in motion, Sullivan with the football, and Sullivan does not get much. I don't know if Ronnie, he picked up uh, two on that play, tackled by Russo, Everly, picked up nothing on that play. No gain, second and 10. Do you have any numbers on Sullivan by any chance, rushing yardage? Sixteen carries, sixty-three, fifty-three. So he's averaging just about three yards a carry. Fifteen carries, sixteen yards. Second and ten. Carry taken down on a first hit was by number uh, eight. <laughs> 77. 77. Okay, yeah. and Palermo was there too. Joe Rosano. Rosano, Palermo. Third and nine. One of, one of the um, things we haven't mentioned yet today is the fact that we're still under that MIAA playoff system. So, in essence, it's a seven game right. season. Right. game scheduled season. It's a scheduled yep. season. And, you know, you have to try to right. win the conference, right. or, you know, beat teams and pick up their points. It's, it's a confusing And this game system. really doesn't mean anything to Chumsford or Tuxbury. I know it could down the line, but it really doesn't. No. No. And I haven't mentioned that, Rob, because I didn't want to start the season on a negative. <laughs> 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 Tuxbury take a timeout? Uh, yes, they did. You could say it's a third and nine. You could say it's a game scrimmage with a charge admission. That's true. That's <laughs> well put. Well put. Right, Rob? Yep. It's a game scrimmage with a charged admission. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it doesn't mean anything to either team. No. Well, statistics-wise. Statistics-wise. Emotionally, wise, right. which football is played around. Yep. 
Um, means a lot. Bareback yeah. Valley, it means, means a, a lot. lot. That's right. Okay, Rob, you're a coach. You work with these guys on a daily basis. You go back uh, Monday, and where do you start? Simple? Well, yeah, I, I think I think you, you lick your wounds for a day, and yep. uh, we look at Westford, and you practice to beat Westford, and you, you know, I think you can pull some positives. Our defense, you know, whatever the score is, our defense – Test got tested yes. and they, they kind of answered the test. Yep. Offensively, I'm sorry, you go too simplistic. You, you go, all right, we got to carry the ball. We got to be satisfied with a few yards at a whack, possession passing, and uh, take some of the load off of Camp Smith. Yeah, Coach Susan's going to be very positive, I think, with his when he meets with his players come Monday. He and uh, uh, Coach uh, Sal Lapoli and all the defensive staff because they've done a nice job out there today. They've held uh, Sullivan and Casey to uh, well under well under 80 yards, yep. and that is a blitz by the Lions. Screen. The screen. They look for it. The uh, Lions Kevin have Harrison it there. Almost picked it off. And nothing Back. doing. It does keep the clock going though. But yep. another excellent call by the defense. An excellent play yep. by the defense. Uh, the, two the Lions Evan took timeout. Evan Fletcher in on the tackle there, number 26. And nice job by Jack Hansbury. You kind of smelled that was, out a little was bit. Hansbury he was there too. He was there, Good. Uh, causing some problems. Yeah. Well, that's the experience, yep. senior experience. He says, "Oh, they're awfully soft. They're giving me a pass rush." Four minutes, uh, 17 seconds. Tuxby just wanted to use some clock. Uh, offensively, this this has to be uh, one of the most. Uh, Unexciting football games we've yeah. done in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what the longest play in this game is. Maybe the 21 yard Casey touchdown run. And who took uh, a timeout? Tuxbury's got to take a timeout. They don't, they don't have, have enough personnel. players. Uncharacteristic uh, Tuxbury. Uh, yeah. Usually they're, yeah. they're pretty sharp with changeovers right. and whatnot. Right. Yeah. With this uh, confusion in their punt team, it might be a good chance to maybe block it and right. you know, get a big positive. You might as well come after it because we haven't had. Yeah, we haven't had any uh, other type of positive plays, so let's uh, maybe come after this one. Lana verifies the 21-yard uh, touchdown run was the longest play of the game. And yeah, we've got a whistle, and this could be <laughs> offside. So we're going to push him back five yards. I would characterize this as an excellent defensive job by the Lions and a very sloppy, sloppily played football game. Yeah. Offensive uh, uh, field position, Chelmsford's offensive field position was Horrendous. never good or right. hardly. Right. You know. Right. And the, and the turnovers. Yep. We keep coming back to that. Levesque. Can't get around number 20. Good coverage by Tuxbury. Right, did a nice job, Ryan. Ryan Carey, Carey on the tackle. But look at this. We're outside the 25-yard line. Yeah, the, uh, Bednarik, the punter, and four minutes, six seconds to go. Yeah, I'm looking at the Lions uniforms, and they're, the maroon pants are much more, are much darker than they have been. They're much darker. Just, just so the guys are just perspiring so much in this heat. Folks, Tommy Peterson came down here very early on a Saturday morning and set this whole thing up so you could see it. And an outstanding job, uh, along with Dan Sylvia. Uh, those two guys just uh, are terrific people, and they do wonders. Craig Robinson, Alyssa Genero, who is uh, our right-hand person, Adam Hirsch, Connor Cahill, Alan Souza, and, of course, the inimitable Stephen McDonald who have really helped us out, and we appreciate everything they've done. Toss to Driscoll over the middle, and he picks up seven or eight yards. First catch of the season for Del Driscoll. Lions in the hurry-up offense. We're going to give him seven yards. Sprint out, looking. Jack's going to keep it. Cut across the field. He has some space. And some running room, and Jack takes it up to the 45. That's why he's a triple threat. He's very dangerous guy. Yep, absolutely. So we're going to give uh, Jack about uh, 
30, 33, 34 yards. So that's the longest play now of the football game. The Lions are in Tewksbury territory, first and 10. Jack Rolls keeps it, get out of bounds. No, hit from behind. Jack has been nursing uh, a very sore uh, groin strain this week. Didn't practice the entire week. And uh, he's really kind of gutting this one out. Second and six for the Lions. Three minutes. Quick toss underneath to uh, Cotamash. And I think this is the kind of offense that we sort of were that's asking I, for. That's what I was just uh, referring to uh, uh, about five, five minutes ago. That This is what the Lions need to do. Possession passes. And Tuxby's going to take a timeout. Yes, they are. So the Lions have moved it to the 30-yard line from the 26 to the 30. And that's a pick. That's about 44 or 45 yards they've moved it. And I think this is what we may be hoping to see in the future. I think that's what we need to see until yeah. the running game gets it yeah. gets established. You have to you, you have to you know get the yards we can get them. And you have to you have to possess the ball. Right. Take you, take advantage of uh, Dell's big size, six five. It's got to be some mismatches, yep. kind of a Absolutely. thing with him and quick slants to these. Our wide receivers are not the biggest guys in the world. No, they're they're. You know? I said so that to Jack during the practice this week yep. that. Uh, that they're small. He said, yeah, but they've got great hands. They've and got they great do, hands, but let's but get them. Quick. Yeah, get let's the get them the ball quickly. and let them run with it. Right. Yeah. Not try to wait for them to get open deep because they don't have the speed to get down there. Well, on a very hot afternoon in Tewksbury, two minutes, 57 seconds, it would be nice to see the Lions get on the board here. Camp Smith, direct snap, steps up, sets up. Now he's going to run it, has some room, runs away from one, runs away from two. And go. now you're seeing the athlete, Jack Camp Smith. He takes it down to the 12-yard line. So that's a pickup of 20 by Jack uh, Camp Smith. This is the Camp Smith we saw last year, folks. Whoa, uh-oh. Jack's got to get on this. Tuxbury's got it, and they're trying to run a hurry up, and I think they weren't. Jack wasn't quite ready for the snap. Uh -oh, Jack, he took his eyes off it, yeah. whatever the situation is. So with 2.38 to go, Tuxbury is going to now try to run the clock out. The Lions showed some spark, but uh, their third turnover of the football game. So they will start at first and 10 at the 30. So you asked me earlier, what do you do? You definitely have to calm everybody down. You have to have a good, solid practice. Practice a few things that are going to be well, do well against Westford, yep. and then just build the confidence throughout the week. Yep. Positive plays. Yep. I'd say Westford is probably uh, not in uh, tremendous awe of the uh, Lions. No, they're getting real positive. Yeah, lying in wait. That's right. Do they wear boots in Westman? <laughs> Casey, the ball carrier, takes it up to the 36-yard line. It'll be second and four. Coming down to uh, two minutes to play in our football game. Obviously, Tuxbury in no hurry. They just want to hand the ball off, uh, run this clock out, get it to the showers. And I have to confess, I want them to do that such thing. I do too. I do too. Please do exactly that. Yep. Right. Lions come on a blitz. And Corey, uh, the carry, he's short of the first down. Stays in bounds, did a nice job. I'm glad he did. Both teams in, uh, I would have to say, pretty good shape. They uh, withstood this, uh, this test in the heat uh, pretty well. 
kudos to both coaches for getting the teams in shape yeah, for this game. Exactly. And uh, liberally substituting to keep people right. as fresh as they can. Very humid. Third and two for Tewksbury. Lions blitz again. And Carey is in the open and taken down at the 45. And that was number 14 by the Lions tackling Kevin Yu, 5'7", 160 pound junior. First down for Tewksbury at the 45. And the clock will start. We've got a Tewksbury player on the sideline, and this looks like cramps. Cramp, <laughs> yeah. Right. It was carry. I think it's yeah. a good cramp. Yeah, that's what it is. And it's, uh, and Hurdle's got cramps right next to him. He's sitting down yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just about the time of the game when that starts to happen. That will happen. I think I'm getting one from standing here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe me from talking. Yeah. We're coming down to a minute, and again, Tewksbury is in no hurry. As well, they should not be. Right. And he's going to take a knee. If Jumpsford doesn't call timeout, this is going to be enough. Tewksbury completed maybe a run of two passes in this football game, but it was all they needed to. Yeah. Uh, one was huge. I went back to it. Four. Thank you. I went back to it before. Uh, one of them was huge. Yeah, it just. Uh, so one more time, and this one will end. Just turnovers, unfortunately, yep. and special teams. Yeah, you have a young team. Your special teams are, you know, young and questionable. It's all about ball control, about not making mistakes. Yep. You know, highlight what you have. Use it well, use it smartly, and then, right. you know, score, come away with points, and you can salvage a lot. Yeah, all right. I, Kudos I, I to the defense, totally. uh, to the crew here, the crew in the truck, to Runner, who's uh, worked as hard as we did, maybe harder. My partner in many, many years, Howie, <laughs> and Rob, as always, it's been a pleasure. We will uh, see you in Westford. I hope you can join us if you can't get to the game next Friday night. Goodbye, everyone.